so what's up everybody um, this will be a video on my Medal of Honor the Medal of Honor beta um, impressions I guess uh, well you know okay so first of all uh, I would just like to say that back in the day I was a fan of the Medal of Honor series um, but as we all know their games kinda went to shit as the years went on um, so yeah, so they're coming, they're making a comeback, everybody's copying off Call of Duty, everything's modern now, which, thank God, you know, so, it's not that it's a bad thing that they're copying off of them, but, you know, um, but yeah, let's, I'm gonna talk about the multiplayer, you know, fuck single player, it's all about multiplayer, um, so, to me, it feels like uh, it feels like a mixture of things. It feels like a mixture of Call of Duty. It feels like a mixture of uh, Battlefield, which I don't like. I like Battlefield 1943, so I can't say I don't like Battlefield. But I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, I had the first game, Battlefield Bad Company, the f number one. I owned it. I played the campaign. It felt like it took forever. It was it felt more like a chore than anything. It wasn't really fun. And multiplayer is fun only, and I repeat, only if you play with your friends. If you go in there by yourself, now this is my opinion, so everybody who's a Battlefield fan, please don't cuss me out and fucking go crazy on me. It's my opinion, I'm entitled to it. If you like it, that's cool. I'm not gonna knock you, I'm not gonna knock you down for liking it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, I don't know, it's fun with your friends, if you're by yourself, it sucks. It's just not fun. Like, I like that it feels like a war, but, you know, Call of Duty's fast-paced. Given Modern Warfare 2 kind of really dropped the ball, Call of Duty 4 is way better than Modern Warfare 2. Um, but yeah, so this feels like a mixture of things, you know. Um, there's two factions. There's obviously the, you know, Marines or the U.S. Army, and they have an M4A1 which is a, uh, an automatic rifle, it's got a noob tube on it. Uh, when you rank up, you unlock you know, the red dot and, and what have you, and you have a pistol for your secondary weapon. Um, uh, if you're the terrorist, if you're the opposing side, uh, you have an AK-47. Um, I believe also with a noob tube and a pistol, and there's classes. Um, so, and then there's the light machine gun class, and I don't even want to guess what guns those are, because I'm probably going to get them wrong, and so, yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so this game has kill streaks, all that good stuff. That's kind of cool, but I don't know, man, like, they, they say this game is going to, you know, try to help with the camping, and they're going to try to eliminate camping, um you know by not having a prone so all you can do is stand or crouch which you know to some effect works but if you're sitting somewhere and you know where the high traffic is where everybody always goes look at that headshot boom sucker <laughs> um, you know and they don't know where you are um, you kinda get your ass kicked um, this game and you know when you first start playing you're using the iron sights obviously uh, now, this is probably the only game I'll ever say, but I prefer being the terrorist in this game because you have an AK-47, and when you look down the iron sights of that, it feels like the gun is just a lot closer. Like, using the M4A1 as the, uh, as the Americans, I don't know, like, the gun feels, like, too far away. Like, it looks, r I don't know, why should I have a problem looking down that sight, you know, looking down that little fucking hole trying to see people to kill them? Well, again, that's my opinion. You know, I don't know what they're going to tweak. Um, I got the beta code by signing up for a website. You know, I you know I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to give it a try and, and see if I liked it, you know, because until I try it, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So, and this is what I'm doing. What are the kill streaks? I think the kill streaks are, uh, I believe they're UAV, uh, and then an airstrike, and I don't know what the last one is. Maybe like a bomber or something. This all, I mean, like I said, it really, really feels like Battlefield. So, if you like Battlefield, this is definitely the game for you. You know, if you don't like Battlefield, 
it may not be, you know, for you. Me personally, I can't buy the, I can't see myself buying this for $60. I really can't. That's my opinion. I it's not my cup of tea. It's, to me it's not that fun. There are in my opinion better shooters out there. Call of Duty 4, which is I don't know how many years old now, blows this out of the fucking water. And if you've played that game, you know that that only has like 357 UAV uh, airstrike helicopter. I mean, if Modern Warfare 2 did that, I mean, I, th I psh, if you ask me, it would have been fine. You know, the same people that did, you know, Battlefield were in charge of the multiplayer. So that right there, you know, when I first heard about that, scared me because I was like, fuck, you know, if you're going to come back, you got to be competitive. You know, you're only going to be competitive to your other fucking shooter, EA. Your other, your own fucking franchise. Medal of Honor, the only competition you're going to do, or have, is fucking the Battlefield series. Because, in my opinion, you're not going to do shit to Call of Duty. Like, that's just, that's just the way I feel. I don't think you're going to do shit. You know, and the only reason, what, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to be like Battlefield? Oh, we'll give you free free DLC if you buy the game at $60, fuck that, or even just a use, or a use, what am I talking about, a new copy, like even if you get it like cheaper down the road, like for 30, 30 or 40 bucks, still new, you know, at least you're not paying 60 for it, but pff, fuck that, dude, and I'll admit this whole Call of Duty thing, uh, with the whole Infinity War and a bunch of people leaving and all that, it sucks, I really enjoyed Call of Duty 4, I think they fucked up big time with Modern Warfare 2, you know, nobody really knows what happened and why they left or why they were fired and this whole being sued and countersued thing. You know, we, it's like the news, like straight up, it's like the news. They only tell you what they want you to know. So the only people that know the real 100% truth are the people at, you know, Activision. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen after... Black Ops. I don't even know if Infinity Ward's going to even do another Call of Duty. Um, spoiler alert. Not really spoiler, but kind of. If you've played Modern Warfare 1 and or 2, especially 2, you'll know that they're going to make a Modern Warfare 3. The game is not over. I don't know, man. It just it sucks when, you know, it's. I, I used to be like the biggest Halo Bungie fanboy, and it feels like if Bungie were, you know, to get in squams or get in some you know, get in an argument with Microsoft, and then Microsoft let them go and fire all them or something. It's like, you know, fuck, what's going to happen to the Halo series, you know? That's how I feel. I like Modern Warfare 2. I enjoy it. You know, I still think Call of Duty 4 is better. I don't know, man. Who knows what's going to happen. Hopefully Treyarch will do something good. I'm really hoping for it, because that's all I can hope for. Apparently they're really listening to their fans. So let's hope that's the case, and they'll bring back zombies, and take out Commando, and take out Juggernaut, and, uh, what else? Martyrdom, get the fuck out of here. Martyrdom, get out of here. Uh, you know, Commando, when you're, when you're lunging fucking 20 feet, you know, that's exaggerating, but when you're lunging like 5, 10 feet, like it's fucking Halo, like, you have the fucking energy sword. That's fucking ridiculous. And I... Well, yeah, okay. You know, some people could argue and be like, well, to counteract uh, Commando, you could have... I don't know. You could have your own Commando, or you could have something else. I don't really know what the hell would really counter it, because I think it's a bitch one. It's a big... It, blah, 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 blah. It's a bitch perk. So if you run Commando, but you're kind of a bitch. It's fun in the beginning when you're leveling up and you're waiting for Ninja or Sit Rep or any of those other useful perks, then that's fine, you know, because I'll even use it too when I'm leveling up. But once I'm once I have Ninja, I never put Commando on. Not even on my fast classes. So I don't know, I feel like I've kind of drawn off the topic of discussion but yeah medal of honor to me it feels like battlefield uh this is gameplay of me playing uh as you can see i mean it it looks and feels like battlefield maybe it's shinier maybe it looks better and hey it's modern i don't know it's just another battlefield to me you know you can customize your weapons and stuff after after a little while but hey you can do that in battle or yeah you can do that in battlefield 
uh, Bad Company 1 and 2, you know, once you level up and shit. So, I don't know, this feels more like it was a rant than anything. Sorry about that, guys. I think, I actually, there's that call in the UAV right there. I end this video early because I gotta stay within the 10 minute, uh, 10 minute mark. And I actually go over 10 minutes, but I think... I'm pretty sure Bun or Bungie, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm pretty sure YouTube will let you go a little over 10 minutes, just you can't get to that 11 minute marker. So anyways, uh, thanks for listening to my rant slash impressions. Uh, again, if this is your type of game, go for it. If not, you know, I would take a pass, give it a rent, you know. Alright, peace.